Okay, let me uh, begin by asking you just to state your name. My name is Jeffrey Smith. I'm the executive director of the Institute for Responsible Technology. I'm the director of the film Genetic Roulette, The Gamble of Our Lives, and the author of Seeds of Deception and Genetic Roulette. So it sounds like you're very involved in the world of GMO, so tell me what is GMO? GMO, genetically modified organism. And what does that mean? Instead of sexual reproduction to produce offspring, you pull a gene out of one organism, say bacteria or virus, and you force it into the DNA of another organism. Nine food crops are genetically engineered in the United States now, uh -huh. and primarily they're designed not to die when sprayed with a poisonous weed killer. So what happens is you put a gene in that makes it the plant resistant to a certain weed killer, so you can spray with a weed killer and theoretically get less of that spray. But what actually happens? Well, for Roundup Ready soy, corn, cotton, canola, etc., the Roundup gets sprayed over the plant and it gets absorbed into the plant. And by the way, there's more of the herbicide being used now, not less. 80% mm -hmm. of that Roundup ends up in the plant, a lot of it in the food that we eat. Now, Roundup is that stuff that you spray on the weeds in your driveway, right? Right. And you've got to be careful when you do because Roundup is linked as an endocrine disruptor, it's linked to cancer, it's linked to Parkinson's. It's linked to all sorts of problems, and it turns out that as Roundup is increased in the U.S. population in terms of consumption through GM crops, so too have many diseases. So where can you find stuff that's not GMO, or how do you know it's not GMO uh, in it? Tell, tell me a little bit about that. What is a, the average person who goes to the store, the shopping, uh, what do they do? Well, at nongmoshoppingguide.com, which is our free website and our free app is Shop No GMO, iPhone app. We list more than 10,000 products that are verified as non-GMO mm -hmm. by an organization called the Non-GMO Project. If you don't see it in the app <coughs> or online and you don't see a non-GMO label on the product, it can still say organic, in which case it's designed not to be genetically engineered. If you don't see a label at all, then you read the ingredient panel and you look for what may be genetically engineered and if it has one of the at-risk ingredients then you can replace it with something that doesn't. So the at-risk ingredients, there's nine of them, mm -hmm. soy, corn, cottonseed oil, canola oil, sugar from sugar beets, so if it says sugar it's a combination of cane sugar and sugar beet sugar. There's also zucchini, yellow squash and some papaya from Hawaii and China. And there's animal feed. Most of those are used as animal feed as well as alfalfa. But with the food stuff that we eat, yeah. if you look at a label and it doesn't say GMO free, does that mean, or if it says organic, is all organic stuff GMO free? Organic is not allowed to use GMOs intentionally. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're looking to avoid GMOs, sometimes it will not say soy, but it may say soy lecithin. It may not say corn, it may say high fructose corn syrup. So some of those derivatives you don't know are related to GMOs, like you don't know that maltodextrin or dextrose may be derived from genetically engineered corn. So on our shopping guide, we list the names of those hidden ingredients, the hard to understand, the difficult to read ingredients and which are related to GMOs. So if you don't have that list, can you just look at a label? Is there any way to know for sure just reading a label in the store? You're, you're in the store now. All right. You pick up a package, you turn it around, you look at that little box that says the ingredients. What do you have to see to be confident it's GMO free? Does it have to say that? Well, if it says non-GMO, then that gives you a good hint. So Cheerios now says, the, the original formula, not their honey nut, says made without genetically modified ingredients. Uh, grape nuts is now, has non-GMO project verified. But in the absence of that phrase or something. Or, or organic, or organic. Or doesn't organic. Okay, so GMO free or organic, you're good. Yeah. Okay, now, if you're a woman, you're over 40, and there's these things called hormones, what about the impact of the foods that have genetically modified components to it? Does it have an impact there? Oh yeah. Um, I've spoken with many medical doctors who are experts on hormones for women and women's health. And they describe much of the same problems we see in the general population, but specifically for that group, related to a couple of things with GMOs. One, the Roundup, an endocrine disruptor. It can change the balance of the hormones. Mm -hmm. In fact, there was a study with rats that ate 
either just the Roundup or the Roundup Ready corn that was sprayed with Roundup or just the Roundup Ready corn without Roundup. All three, and I talked to the researcher on this, the females ended up with more testosterone, the males ended up with more estrogen. So it was an inverse hormonal So it's thing. a disruptor of the normal hormone pattern. Right. And this could have, I guess in the younger woman, some fertility issues, but in the older woman, it could have behavioral or other kinds of conditions with the wrong balance of hormones. Absolutely. So the whole, the whole hormonal balance can go off because of that. There t seems to be a hormonal effect because male animals and female animals in the laboratories react differently. Now, women will tell you when they get rid of GMOs, a lot of times the brain fog disappears. They have more energy. They have more sexual vitality. They have more life energy, but there's also some specific disorders that we find tend to go away when people get rid of GMOs. And we've heard this many, many times. I've heard hundreds and hundreds of testimonies. What are the testimonies. top three of those? Okay, gastrointestinal of all types. Crohn's disease, irritable bowel, constipation, peritonitis, gastrointestinal. So inflammatory problems can go away if you eat these foods that are GMO free or organic. We have seen that over it's and over possible. again. And many, many doctors say that that's what happens in their patients. Mm -hmm. The animal feeding studies bear it out. The livestock experience bears it out. And we're hearing it all over. Second is immune system problems. So it could be autoimmune disease, allergies, asthma, the immune system. Eczema, all those kinds yes, of things. Yes, skin problems over the top. Uh huh. Okay. And then weight problems. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will, don't anticipate losing weight when they switch to a non-GMO diet, and then they tell me, without doing anything else, I lost 10 pounds or 35 pounds or 15 pounds for my husband and five pounds for my kids, and it can be very, very quick. I talked to someone 25 days into a non-GMO diet, three days her Crohn's disease symptoms disappeared, um, then she had skin conditions which was clearing up, and she lost 10 pounds, and her brain fog was lifting. That's and a good combination. It's a good combination. Mm -hmm. So um, we see this a lot. And part of the issue may be that, that the, both the Roundup, which is used in these crops, and also corn can produce its own toxic insecticide, which pokes holes in human cells, in, in insect cells to kill them, and now it shows to poke holes in human cells. That might cause gut permeability or leaky gut. With leaky gut, holes in the walls of our intestines and things can get into the bloodstream. But this is not a GMO issue specifically. This is a corn issue you're talking about. No, no, no. This is a genetically modified corn issue. It's the corn engineered to produce a toxic insecticide. I see what you mean. And okay. the insecticide is the one that pokes holes in the cells of the wall. It's a wall cell. Yeah. So, okay, so before we close, anything oh, else that, yes. you, that you want to add? Yes, Roundup also b blocks the ability of gut bacteria to produce L-tryptophan, which, which is a precursor to serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin is really important for mental health, right. for stress, etc., and for telling the body, yes, I'm full, I don't need to eat anymore. Melatonin is good for sleep, right. okay? Um, it also blocks a metabolic pathway that helps the body detox. So any other exposure to a toxin can be amplified in the presence of Roundup herbicide. Now, I recommend that people not just avoid GMOs, but also switch to organic whenever possible, because more and more Roundup is being sprayed on grains, fruits, and vegetables before they're harvested as a ripening agent. So you know to avoid the GMOs. With the other ones, you don't know if Roundup is sp sprayed on it, so it's better to go to organic altogether. And okay. So thank you very much. And just before we stop, uh, mention the website you talked sure. about. There's two websites I'd like to recommend. One is responsibletechnology.org. We have a free newsletter, lots of information on that site as to the health dangers. And then to avoid GMOs, non-gmoshoppingguide.com and the free iPhone app, Shop No GMO. Thank you very much. You're welcome.